volcanoes, earthquakes, and tidal waves. Class 5, Science Many changes occur in nature from time to time. These changes may be in the form of rains, storms, earthquakes, or volcanic eruptions. Like storms, volcanic eruptions too can cause heavy damage to life and property. Let us learn more about volcanoes. Volcanoes are cracks in the Earth's crust out of which magma comes out. This magma comes from the mantle of the Earth and reaches the crust through cracks. Volcanoes are usually found in the form of conical mountains. A lot of pre-assure builds up underground which pushes up the magma. The magma rushes upwards through a vertical tunnel called a vent and fills a hollow opening called the crater, at the top. The magma bursts out of the crater, bringing along with it hot gases, dust and ashes. When the magma reaches the Earth's surface, it is called lava. As lava cools, it solidifies and forms rocks. According to the frequency of eruption, volcanoes are of three types. Active, dormant, and extinct volcanoes. Active volcanoes are those that may erupt at any time or have erupted in the recent past. Many active volcanoes are found around the Pacific Ocean, giving rise to the name the Pacific Ring of Fire. Fact File The Barren Island is an active volcano in the Andaman Islands. It is reported to have erupted first in 1787. The island has seen many eruptions since then. Volcanoes on other celestial bodies Olympus Mons on Mars is one of the tallest volcanic mountains in the solar system. It is almost three times taller than Mount Everest. Mount Vesuvius, Mount Fuji, and Mount Erebus are some well-known active volcanoes. Dormant volcanoes are those that have not erupted for several years but could erupt in future. Narkandam in the Andaman Islands, and Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania are examples of dormant volcanoes. Extinct volcanoes are those that are not expected to erupt in future. Some islands have been formed by the eruption of undersea volcanoes. The Emperor Sea Mount Chain in the Pacific Ocean, and the Ithwal Volcano in the Netherlands are examples of extinct volcanoes. Earthquakes An earthquake, also known as a quake or a tremor, is a sudden movement of a part of the Earth's surface. It is caused by severe shock waves that travel through solid rocks from under the ground to the surface. The point under the ground where the earthquake begins is called the focus, and the corresponding spot on the surface of the earth is called the epicenter. During the Gujarat earthquake of 2001, Bhuj was the epicenter. After the first big quake, smaller quakes or tremors may continue to occur. They are called aftershocks. These occur when rocks that have been moved out of place start falling back into place. In the Nepal earthquake of 2015, aftershocks were felt for many days. Measuring an earthquake The strength of an earthquake is determined using an instrument called a seismograph. It measures or records the intensity, direction, and duration of earthquakes. The intensity of an earthquake can be determined from the recording made by a seismograph using a scale known as the Richter scale. Unlimited levels can be measured on the Richter scale. An earthquake, especially a strong one, always causes destruction of property. Buildings may develop cracks or even fall down. Roads and bridges get damaged. Trees get uprooted. Many people lose their lives too by getting trapped under the heavy slabs that have fallen. Earthquakes can also occur under the sea. An undersea earthquake can cause other disasters such as tsunamis. It can cause landslides and fires, tidal waves and tsunamis. A tidal wave is the periodic rise and fall of sea level. It is caused by gravitational forces acting between the Sun, Moon, and the Earth. Tsunamis are massive ocean waves caused by undersea earthquakes. Volcanic Eruptions 
and landslides. In a tsunami, large amounts of water move at a great speed and as the waves reach the land, they swell up into gigantic waves. Tsunami is a Japanese word meaning harbor wave. The tsunami in 2004 was caused by an earthquake in the Indian Ocean. A lot of people in the coastal areas of Tamil Nadu and Kerala died in this disaster. It also devastated the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the islands of Indonesia. Sri Lanka was also affected. Summary Volcanoes may be active, dormant, or extinct. Earthquakes are caused by severe shock waves that travel through the solid rocks from the Earth's crust to the surface. Earthquakes can also happen under the sea. The strength of an earthquake is determined by using an instrument called a seismograph. Tsunami is caused by undersea earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and landslides. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.